Good morning everyone. We got a whole list of chores to do today. We're gonna check up on the quail. We're gonna check the um, garlic that we planted a week ago and we have more stuff to plant. Hopefully that will get in today. Um, we have a film crew coming to talk about Neve's latest um, charity event and hopefully we're gonna get uh, some interest so we can go on with the tree planting because that's basically what we're waiting for is some uh, funding for our trees and um, because the hull's are ready everything's ready so maybe we'll get to see that today and what else do we have oh new gate going up in the turkey coop so things are happening things are happening let's start right here by the quail Humidity is 54, that's perfect. Temperature is 37, amazing. Day one, and in an hour and 16 minutes, the trays are gonna rotate. So there are three more quail eggs. Can you spot them? They sort of just blend in. Two over there. I think I'm gonna add it to the incubator. Worst comes to worst, it will hatch a day afterwards. I got four more eggs. I'm gonna put them in. Always better to hatch out more than what you think you're gonna need. You can always sell them, give them away, and something can happen. So not all of them hatch. Always better to put in more. So I'm gonna put these in the incubator. Now. Next, the film crew is here. We're turning the camera on them. And my husband went first and he wanted me to talk. He wanted me to sit and talk. No way I'm sitting, it's too official. So I stood. I'll try to get you a copy. Came to check our garlic that we planted last week. Oh, look at that. Yay, first signs of garlic popping out. Uh, this one, someone, okay, look at this one. It was halfway in, halfway out. Look at all these roots that have come out in like a week. That's amazing. I'm just gonna stick you back in gently and cover you up. Okay, remember everyone, these are regular garlic. Chinese garlic from the store. All you need, even if you have a container and you want to put it on your counter, all you need is potting soil. It has very narrow, short roots, so you only need a 15 centimeter container is enough. <laughs> we have a new gate for the turkeys. Wow, yay. It's pretty high. I wanted a tractor to be able to come underneath and then we can figure out what to do here. There's so much room and I'm still not sure what I want to do with all this. Here are your chickens. Listen up. Chickens and roosters, you guys are going to a new home today. A new farm is opening up in Gilo in Yerushalayim and I am donating to them four roosters. I have the difficult decision of deciding which ones to keep and which ones go. All right, so I'm gonna clean up this area. And a lot of times I get asked, stuff, this didn't grow, and can we reuse this soil? So the answer is yes. I know some people will be a bit shocked, but the answer is yes. It's gonna go in here. And we just have to make sure to add in, add in nutrients, because if the nutrients were depleted. So I have lots of these old cubes like this. It's all going in to our mitt. Oh, here's some more. For adding nutrients for our old cubes of earth, I'm adding worm castings. Worm castings, these are not mine. We have our own worm castings that we make, but are ex great nutrients for the earth. Lots of water. Okay, everyone, this is Metal. From where are you, Metal? From Argentina. From Argentina. What's your dream? What are you going to work in? Uh, I want to design gardens and parks. She wants to design gardens and parks. She loves plants, so she's a perfect helper <laughs> for starting our winter garden. We're finished mixing. It's really nice and moist, and we're going to make soil box. So. Let's do that, come. All right, so now we're in the greenhouse. So what we're gonna do is we're filling up these soil blocks. Let's see if it comes out. So this is what comes out. We get a row of soil ready and with the hole ready for a seed to put in. Isn't that the coolest thing? Uh -huh. We'll fill it up. I want to buy these. You wanna buy that? 
yeah. You can get it on Amazon. Our first tray is done with our mud pies. And Mirav is putting little tiny seeds. We're doing parsley root in this one. A rule of thumb, basically things that go grow under the ground, like uh, all the root vegetables, the beets, the carrots, the, the parsley roots, the lettuces, the kales, they're winter vegetables. <laughs> Okay, so these are our mammoth melting sugar peas. So now I'm just gonna take some more earth and just cover up. Carrots and peas can be sown directly into the garden. You can actually plant them into the garden. It might be even better for them. The reason I'm doing it like this is because from experience, I've had slugs and they would just eat it before it even had a chance. 15 centimeter separation between the trays in order for it not to be key and that's according to halacha. Carrot, parsley root, we have over there sugar snap peas. The girls had to go back to class. It's a problem in the winter. They don't really have sunlight hours. <laughs> they're learning all day. And I don't want to tell them miss a class because that's what they're here for. But what we have left to plant are the flowers, lettuce, more. We are very happy with what we've done here. We have some earth left for hopefully we'll come back tomorrow to rest well and grow well as we see these guys were on sale that's why we have so many right there's on sale <laughs> Rifka's like they're on sale we have to get them <laughs> so they're also beautiful and also on sale Hi, right, so we're planning here for Shemitah and planning here for the winter we're raising we raise the ready we cut off branches from the trees if you notice to a certain height some of the branches were too low people were ba we're just raising the view. It looks so beautiful. So we have here big, huge, huge, huge Erez tree, which is a cedar. It's written in the Torah a few times. So this is the huge, 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 huge tall tree. Some of it came down. The branches are these white, pretty ones, and I want to keep them. So we're going to clean them up. It's a, it's a hard wood. If it was good enough for the base of Megdash, at least, I don't know if it's the exact same uh, cedar as that, as they used, but it's good enough for us as well. Ah, it's a Himalayan cedar, okay. So this is a big piece of cedar. Look how beautiful. So we can do so many things out of them. The bay also, he raised the whole view of the bay. All these bay leaves. We are going to dry. This is all taken off. Dry and we're gonna sell them. I'm gonna leave them out, spread them out. It's not supposed to be rain for the next week. So I'll lay it out over there in the sun. So this is our Bay Mountain. Bay Mountain. Um, I also got some laurel berries. They're very good for eczema and skin conditions. The oil of it. I don't know if in this state and how much oil I'll get from this amount of berries, but we'll look into that too. And now I'm just gonna have to go catch the chickens. So it really makes a difference looking around. See, he cut off basically the height of the ladder, raising the view. So now we can get to see through. You don't have to bend down when you go under any of the trees. The tree's got a haircut, especially my bay. I'm a bit upset because I used to love snapping off a, a leaf every time I went by and smelling it. This is turning out to be a longer day than expected, but someone's coming to take the chickens. I'm going to use that. This helps. Chickens are really, really fast. <laughs> so not very easy to catch them. I have two people interested in coming to take them. Two separate people um, who are starting farms in Yerushalayim area, one in Gilo and one in Eniael. I saw I'm donating the roosters and they're both very happy to take it. So I said, whoever first come first serve, I'm getting the roosters in boxes and whoever's here first can come pick it up. Uh, boxes are one of the easier things to get at Neve because of this recycling box. I thought it would be easy. I don't want it too big. I don't want it too small. I like that box with the hand handles. 
but I can't really reach it. Go, let's see. Oops, worked. <laughs> okay, this is Ka. He's taking them to his new farm. This is how they're in the basket when he caught them. And we're gonna, we have more here all inside. They'll be fine for the way. Okay, in. <laughs> and now they're out. <laughs> I'm gonna put. Okay, they are going to a farm. They're going to have a wonderful life. Okay, that was intense and it was very humorous. I felt a bit bad for the chickens, though um, they'll be okay. They'll be okay. They're going to a new farm in a beautiful area and he's going to work with at-risk kids. So it's for a good cause as well. I left myself two roosters. This guy here, Mr. White, and that guy up there. So these two are the roosters that I left myself. And then we have all the little roosters, all these little guys that in a very short amount of time we're going to be that size as well. Excitement over everyone, back to bed. Now that we gave away the roosters, you'll be able to come out without fighting so much. Yeah, so that will be great. Yeah, mister, your job is to protect the flock. I saved him because he's tall and pretty and also because he likes to sleep outside here and warn, over here and warn everyone of the dangers.